So I'm going to talk about IMO, Initial Model Offering today, because we all know the major theme for this bull market is going to be AI times crypto, right? So why we need to, like AI is becoming so powerful today, back to like 10 years ago, AI can only do some stupid shit that we don't really like know why it be, will be useful. And, um, but after 10 year development, now we have a, uh, AI model that can generate an image that we cannot even tell is real or not, generate a video that we cannot tell is real or not, right? So obviously, uh, AI will become the major production force in the future. But we are also facing a crisis. The only way for AI model company to make money today is by closing source the uh, model uh, and provide a subscription API to the customer. And nobody know what's happening inside the AI model and nobody know how they train, how they operate, how they influence inside the model. So we are facing an AI monopoly nowadays because like the open source AI model, they just have no enough resource to compete with this giant tech company. So we have this same situation in our, uh, back to 400 years ago. In 400 years ago, in the age of discovery, only the royalty can have the enough money to build a ship and uh, go to the overseas uh, 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 merchant to be like, uh, and uh, got a bunch of money. But normal people cannot participate because like, uh, it's just too expensive to build a ship. It's just same as the AI model, right? Like before it's too expensive to build a ship, so our ancestor invent a new mechanism to gather the power of the people, that's the stock market. So that we will be able to gather the money from the normal people and then uh, build the ship and then the ship makes some money and then the people who hold the stock and have contributed to building the ship will be rewarded. And um, yeah, that's the uh, image when, like, uh, the, uh, when one of the first stock market in uh, Bombay. And uh, yeah, that's why I want to introduce to you guys the one of the most important innovation in this year. Uh, in the, uh, that is like the initial model offering. So we are tokenizing any AI model on blockchain and use that to make the community have enough liquidity, liquidity and have the incentive to build a better AI model in open source uh, manner. So what exactly IMO? IMO essentially make up by two major components. The first component is ERC7641, uh, intrinsic value token. And uh, another EIP is like uh, ERC7007. So the first ERC is about like tokenize the model on blockchain and enforce the revenue sharing. When the AI model generates a revenue, all the token holder will be benefit by holding the token. So that token has intrinsic value. That's why it's different with uh, all the ERC20 we have in the market right now. And when you be able to put the model on blockchain, you will also generate a second asset beside the token for the model. That's the inference asset. Because the inference is done on blockchain, then it, which means that it's tradable, immutable. So it's supposed to be the asset on blockchain. And uh, yeah, this page is about how to own the model, how the intrinsic share, revenue share token work. So, um, so yeah, you guys can check this out. We have that in the uh, GitHub draft right now. And also the second EIP is AIGC NFT that enable the inference to be traded and uh, to, to be mined on blockchain. But what is behind all this technology, right? Why we cannot do tokenize the model, AI model on blockchain before, but why we can do it now? Because in Aura, we invent a new mechanism called automatic machine learning that enable any size of AI model do the inference on blockchain. And both of them are verifiable. And this is the workflow for the product that based on OPML, well, we call it on-chain AI Oracle. So using on-chain AI Oracle is really simple. You just need to initiate a smart contract, start a transaction call with the prompt and nominate the model, and then you'll be able to uh, let the OAO smart contract do the inference for you, and then return the result as a callback to the smart contract. So you don't need any SDK to do it. The workflow is extremely simple. The cost for that is just like a few dollars. It's like at least 1,000 times cheaper than you do a ZKML manner. So this is the paper we published a while ago about OPML. And the cost for the OPML is extremely low. 
compared with ZKML, especially when you go to a, is, uh, uh, a model with like billion parameter. And uh, we also improved the OPML this year. Uh, Dr. Kathy has authorized the OPI, Optimistic Privacy Preserve AI on blockchain. That can, um, that's like hybrid model, can have both benefit of ZKML and OPML. So the idea of OPI is really simple. So you have like, because we know all the uh, neuron network have many layer, and we just do the ZK proof on the first layer and the last layer, and do the OP proof for the middle. So you will have the both benefit. And another important question is like, once we can put all the AI model on blockchain, then there will be too many AI model in the world, right? Like how we can have the right model on blockchain. We are not spending the community and spending the uh, computational resources on blockchain, right? So the selection for the model is very important. And uh, a, news DAO, a news research in, some, uh, in Big Tensor, Subnet 6, have proved, us, have proved to us that with the right incentive-wise, uh, the community can actually build a really successful AI model. Their benchmark is so close to ChatGPT4 right now, and, um, and they don't even like, uh, they haven't operated as like a closed source company that spent multi-million dollars on the training, but still can make a similar uh, function like ChatGPT4. So we, we need to have like really good selection mechanism on chain to make sure we select the best model and uh, spin the flywheel correctly. And about Aura, uh, we are the verifiable Oracle protocol that bring any AI into blockchain. And uh, IMO will be like the most critical business mechanism on this bull market, I think. Thanks.